In recent years, our state has seen a major spike in overdose deaths. That's according to the State Department of Health and Environmental Control. Several organizations here in the Low Country say they are dedicated to providing resources and help to those who may need it, all in an effort to lower those statistics. Our Autumn Klein joins us in studio this morning with a story of how one of these organizations was able to change a young woman's life. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning, Shelby and Katie. This epidemic that we are seeing in South Carolina is only getting worse, but there are services that can help. I spoke with one homeless addict who was able to completely turn her life around and hopes her story can inspire others to do the same. When I came come back here now, I kind of have those feelings of being hopeless and alone and forgotten. As Samantha Driggers stood in this lot right behind the Walmart on Rivers Avenue, it brought back a rush of emotions. Just a little over a year ago, this was her home. I surrounded myself with people that were broken, addicted, lost and forgotten, just as myself. Driggers' son was taken from her custody because of her addiction to methamphetamine, and shortly after, her brother passed away from a fentanyl overdose. At the lowest point of her life, she remained homeless for four years. Just thinking that that's what I deserve in life. That is until she decided she was ready for change. Driggers found at Changed Life Ministry over a year ago, an organization dedicated to serving those battling addiction. We believe through a personal relationship with Jesus that you can overcome your addictions, as well as not just overcome and become sober, but have abundant life and, and be reintroduced back into the community as a productive citizen. Driggers went through the program, got clean, and today leads the women's facility for CLM and uses her story to help others as addiction and overdose remains an issue. The problem continues to get worse. Year before last, we had over 115,000 overdose deaths and we don't want to see one more of those. Wake Up Carolina is another recovery resource that is a partner of Changed Life Ministry and is available for anyone who is seeking recovery. Addiction doesn't discriminate and all of us are in its crosshair and there's every place that we go and we talk to people, everybody's been impacted by this deal. Drigger said that she knows everything she went through was to help others going through a similar situation. And if there's one thing she wants them to know, it's for them to change their belief of what they deserve in life. So don't be stuck where you think that you're supposed to be forever. That's not the plan that God has for you. I know for a fact that if God can do it for me, he can do it for anybody. Both Wake Up Carolina and Changed Life Ministry are located in Berkeley County, where the coroner tells me that they've already confirmed 21 overdose deaths this year and have 27 potential cases waiting on toxicology results. If you or someone you know is suffering from addiction and is ready to seek help, both of these organizations are ready to take you in with open arms and provide you the resources that you need to get help. Links to the Wake Up Carolina and CLM websites can be found on live5news.com. Ladies.